Welcome to Soft to see from Festo. In this video, we show you how to create your individual symbol in FluidDraw P6 and how to save it to your individual library. To make it easier to draw the symbol, I will activate the grid. Now in the insert ribbon in that draw section, you have various drawing elements that you can use to create your individual symbol. I will just use a black box and some lines. And now I will add some connecting lines. To do that, it is very good if you stay on the grid. To make it easier to stay on the grid, I recommend to activate that snap to grid function here. And also snap to connector is always useful. So again, two small lines for my individual symbol. Once you're satisfied with that, select everything, pull a frame over it, do a right click, and now create a macro object out of it. Don't just group it, create a macro object out of it that will melt all the drawing elements together into your individual symbol. And you already see it now in the parts list. Next thing is I want to add real connectors here. So click define connectors. In that case, I want to create pneumatic connectors. If you want to define more than one, use that define multiple connectors option. And now you need to hit your target. So it's really recommended to stay on the grid. Once you've finished, press the escape key. Now you could already use it. If you want to, you can double click the connectors, define an identification if you want to. And it's also recommended to define an identification for a complete symbol. So double click it and go to the identification. Here maybe use X or any letter you want. And I recommend to also use the normal user defined designation conventions. In this case, it acts exactly like any other standard symbol from the library. So here we are, and our symbol is ready to use now, and it can be connected to your diagram like any regular symbol from the standard symbol library. You can also copy paste it and you will notice that also the designation, the identification interacts exactly as the standard identifications and you see your symbol in the library if you want to. Last step is I want to create my own library and save the symbol to that library. Go to the library tab and create a new library. Save that and now you will see you have another tab up here, the standard symbols and your individual library. And you can simply drag and drop it over there. You can define a symbol name if you want to. And of course, you can define any name or a description for your symbol. After that, of course, you can simply drag and drop your symbol from the library. If you like the videos, please subscribe to our channel and keep yourself informed. See you next time.